Listen to this text we received from a customer and that they're battling weeds. I guess they're a listener. I'm not sure if they're a customer or not. I hope so. so. We're going to turn them into one. Listen to their text. I mulch my flower beds but still get weeds pushing through. Will putting down preen weed preventer on my mulch bed stop this? Ha! Ah. Wow. Well, well. Pretty smart knowing what preen is. Yeah, it is. For all of you out there that don't know what preen is, preen is a weed preventer. And what it does, it puts a barrier in the soil. So when that seed germinates and tries to pop up through that barrier, it basically kills the plant, eliminating the seed and eliminating the plant altogether. So no weeds. But preen will not kill growing weeds. That's why you can put them around your bedding plants and you can put them even into the vegetable garden and it won't kill your your plants, but it will prevent weeds. So, yes, putting preen down on your mulch will stop it from getting any worse, but it will not kill existing weeds. So you've got a choice. Yeah. Bend okay. over, <laughs> pull them out, okay? And you have to make sure you get the roots out. It's been awfully dry. Isn't oh. it been amazingly dry? I know. Where did yeah. uh, where'd that rain go? Uh, Florida. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't gotten rain, a substantial rain, and I don't know how long. I can't and as long as it doesn't come on Fridays or Saturdays, I'm good. Yeah, that's it. But, <laughs> all right, stupid moment for me. Uh-huh. Last night, I have uh, I, I have drip irrigation on the window boxes that are high up attached to a, uh, a porch that I have, a screened-in porch. Put it on yesterday. Does it work? Oh, it worked really well because I didn't turn it off until this morning. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So all night long, it was like a waterfall going waterfall. along the screen of our <laughs> yeah, porch. So they're watered. Oh, yeah. I can <laughs> they're watered really well. Uh, Good so, job, by the way. <laughs> you know, those of you that have done that, <laughs> there you go. Here you go. And, and I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Anyway, it happens to the best uh, of us. But, what happened to that timer you were going to get? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> I was supposed to get a timer, wasn't I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, here's the deal. If you want to... Get those weeds out. The existing weeds have to be pulled out, and they have to be pulled out by the root. And the reason why we mentioned how dry it's been is that the soil's compacted, and it, the weeds have a tendency to snap off or break off, and you just pull the tops out. And if the roots are still there, you know, they're going to grow right back. So um, it's important that you get them out by the root or make sure that you're killing them down to the root. Uh, everybody has a type of glyphosate uh, product. Okay. High yield is high yields brand, or their, I guess the the product glyphosate product is kills all. Kills all is just like Bonide's cleanup or Roundup. It's all the same. Buy the cheapest one because they're competitive, and that. As long as you're hitting the foliage of the weed or undesirable plant, because it could be used for other types of things, like for instance, poison ivy and things like that. But you want to make sure that you don't have overspray onto your mums or your annuals or even your shrubs. Um, I have not only (laughs) let my my water irrigation on overnight by mistake, um, I've also not bent down far enough and had the wind blow and blow the spray onto my shrubs and what happens is it's the existing shrubs all of a sudden the whole side of it's dead you know and I fess up to it. I was like, oh, well, I don't know what happened. It's like, yeah, <laughs> the dope, that overspray, <laughs> you know, rather than, than uh, getting it right on that weed. And that's what you need to do. And we've talked about, you know, spraying like in the evening. It's less, less uh, windy? windy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Unless it's windy. It's yeah. I'm, I'm unfortunately, you know, I'm not the one that's like, I have to spray 
<laughs> one, yeah. when I'm motivated to do it, uh-huh. and two, when I have the actual time to do yeah, it. Right, so, right. so again, yeah. but make sure that if on a windy day, maybe it's not a good idea, like yeah. Julio's saying. But still, high yield kills all is what I use, and that I because again, it's cheapest, and it Works. is very, very good. And man, they're they're turning yellow in no time. Right. Now, here's the. Other question, do you still put perine down? Soil temperatures, Julio, for grass seed to germinate, 50 50 degrees. degrees, It has been warm enough where that soil temperature is actually in the 60s. It was a little chilly this morning, but it felt felt fall-like. Yeah. But weeds can still germinate. So if you put perine down now, yes, it's a little late. If somebody, you know, I wouldn't necessarily put it on a checklist but because you've got weeds that are becoming a problem put it down now and it'll prevent any of those overwintering weeds now here's the thing with preen think of preen as your crabgrass preventer for your landscape beds but it has a broader spectrum on the on the label so when you put down your crabgrass control in the spring Automatically put preen down in your in your landscape beds. And I'll tell you why. It's because all of those seeds begin to germinate when that soil temperature rises. And you may miss and have weeds all through your beds and that you've missed. It. So you've got to do the same thing. you got to pull them out by hand or you have to spray them uh, with glyphosate or the kills all. And then you have, you know, it's just another step where you could prevent those weeds by putting down the crabgrass preventer um, and I'm sorry the preen when you put down your crabgrass preventer in early spring so we're talking March you know, March I would put that, do it in March because it depends on like all of a sudden we have a warm April weeds are popping up all over you've got you've got you know everything from chickweed to clover you've got all kinds of things coming up now You put it down, regular perine needs to be reapplied like every eight weeks for it to be be active and working. What I suggest is you put that first application of perine down early. Eight weeks later, it's time to put down in your annuals. So go ahead and put your annuals in and then apply what's called perine 365. You really only need one application and that it lasts for a really, really long time. 365, get it? 365, okay. you know. In, I would put another application down sometime in mid-summer uh, just to, to make sure that you get anything in the fall that might be germinating, like you're dealing with now. But Preen is a great product. It, it, it does its job. And if you think of it, like it puts a barrier in the soil. So when that seed tries to germinate through it, it kills that weed seed. Even better yet, if you have landscape beds that you don't plant annuals in, or you don't, you don't do anything like that. And it's and again, it's not going to kill the growing existing plants. What it's going to do is prevent the weeds of the other plants. So, say you decide you're going to put perennials in that area in the landscape, but you've already put preen in. Don't worry. The only thing you're going to do is disturb. The barrier in the soil install that plant into the ground and it's going to start to grow and anywhere where you disturb that that soil has potential to grow weeds yeah. but again i'd rather you know do a eight inch round section of weeding than an entire, entire bed yeah, yeah. of weeding i can deal with that yeah. i can deal with that and again we're talking about preen and there are two different ones uh there are actually three there's an organic one that's yeah look if you're an organic person you're going to want to use it. Um, uh, I don't yeah. know. I, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't work that well. Yeah. It's plain and simple. It doesn't work that well. I understand, but uh, sometimes, you know, you got to decide. And then you're going to get, you're going to be much healthier than I will be because you'll be out there pulling weeds <laughs> and I won't be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so... <laughs> Again, yeah. there's preen organic, there's preen regular preen, and then there's pre there's preen three sixty five, and that that's going to be one that that's a longer lasting extended 
preen. Um, there's also uh, going to be preen that has fertilizer in it. I think you should use fertilizer based on what you're growing as opposed to just using a generic fertilizer for the most part. Anything to add, Julio? Yeah, you know, I, I never, I hardly ever use preen, but I, well, that's because yeah. you got a postage stamp huh? for a guard. I know, but still. Yeah. It, it, those weeds just pop up all over the place. They do, but I, mean, it's I would use preen. Yeah, I w- I'm going to start using it because it prevents. I mean, you know, Absolutely. That's the thing right there, you know? Prevention. prevention. What do they have? Pound of prevention is, or an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. I think they, they're talking about preen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>